Hi, my name's Saya Rin. I do multiple media arts, but I focus on digital arts. Um, I sell my art in the form of prints um, in multiple sizes upon request. I mostly do commission requests. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Siren Creates, which would be spelled S-Y-R-Y-N Creates. Um, or you could follow my Snapchat, which would be Saya Hudis, S-Y-A-W-H-O-D-I-S for like, I, I do like progress videos and stuff. Um, and yeah, a uh, shout out to Chris Jeebus and Dylan Rose, great artists. Everybody, welcome from A to Z, the podcast where we try to store as much love to as we can to every artist, designer, business owner, anybody with talents or just uh, skills they want to show. I want to thank my guest. <laughs> Wait, can you uh, introduce yourself? Because you know, I, I definitely am not good okay. with names. Saya Rin. Oh, Saya Rin. First name just Saya. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. De- definitely. Thank you for coming on the podcast. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So, yeah, I just wanted to start it off, like, uh, were you born in Rockford or? Yeah. Born and raised. <laughs> uh, that's what's up. Uh, when did you start to draw or when did you pick up the artistic views? Uh, honestly, like, I don't remember when I wasn't drawing. Okay. <laughs> I like trying to be an artist and stuff. I just always wanted to do it. I never didn't want to be an artist. It's just no. something I always did. <laughs> but uh, but did you pick up the pencil first? And then after a while, when the digital art started coming through, did, that's when you picked that up? Or was it um, straight into... I don't know. I just I learned per media. Like So as a kid, you start with like crayons, pencils. Eventually, you get into art class. You learn about the different kinds of paints. And then high school, you get into like advanced art classes. And you learn all those mediums. I did some college, learned more mediums. Um, experimented with spray paints and all kinds of stuff and then recently I got um, the Wacom 1 digital display okay. and started my hand with digital artwork which happens to be like I guess my stronger medium okay so, That's yeah. Dope. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I'm definitely jealous man because you know I'm an old school head so I definitely can't really move to a computer or graphic you know I'm, yeah, I stick to pencil and paper and like that, <laughs> you know so I, I'm definitely jealous of your skills as you can see she's very talented guys so definitely follow her yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, um so who who inspired you to um I like guess... like your art or however, you know, when you started to draw who inspired you or who did you look up to for inspiration? I used to watch a lot of anime. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really like Dragon Ball Z and oh, I really shit. like Sailor Moon and I just like I saw them, I wanted to draw them, so Oh really? Yeah, I just sit in my room and draw my little <laughs> Goku and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm definitely a big fucking uh, anime fan. Uh, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, yeah. uh, Inuyasha. Well, that's the old ones. Lately, I haven't kept up with the new ones. So, like, what? New P- One Piece, Hunter x Hunter. They all slap. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Awesome. I forgot. There's one that I forgot. Uh, I forgot the name. Uh, people keep telling me. It's, uh, I think it's like a super power based anime, though. Uh, my hero academia something like that. <laughs> it's something like around hunter hunter it's something like that i forgot i forgot because you know there's so many going on right Is now it on amazon? Yeah. amazon no i don't know yeah. something like that <laughs> yeah i forgot the names man but uh yeah i'm definitely an anime head um same yeah uh, which one well you, yeah you said your favorites were like uh dragon ball z and stuff oh, those are the ones i started on my favorite ones now is like like i I don't know, like Devil Man Cry Baby. If you ever saw that on Netflix, that slap. Wait, Devil Man Cry. They turned it into a anime. Yeah, Devil Man Cry Baby. So it's called. Wait, it's not the video game, right? No. no oh, okay, no, okay. A different one. Oh, okay. It sounds the same, but different. Oh, okay. Um, or like Elf and Lead that slaps. Naruto's always just, like got a place yeah. in my heart. I love yeah. Naruto. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, the Naruto Shippuden or just Naruto? Shippuden? Oh, okay, yeah. 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 The, the slap, <laughs> the fight scene. Yeah, that's definitely dope, the man. <laughs> Uh, which which character do you used to draw the most? I I would draw not my favorite characters, but the characters that were easy for me at the time. Okay. So yeah. you start with Naruto. He's a bunch yeah. of basic shapes. Yeah. Really yeah. easy to put together, and then you know Gara, pretty not too much different. You know. Um, yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Just yesterday, <laughs> I drew Itachi. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Very talented. Yeah. Yeah, I I never really thought you drew. You know, with pencil. It's all uh, you know. Uh, 
graphic, I don't know how you say it, graphic design. Yeah, well, I just, I don't know, it's like digital illustration, graphic design. Okay, yeah. Like, digital, it has there you names. Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I draw on a computer screen. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I do, I, I do pencil drawings. It's just with getting the digital stuff, I've been in it a lot. So I thought I'd like make a piece that I could show that I can and do, do pencil drawings. Oh, that's dope. Um, I still brought it over and did some stuff with it digitally, but. Okay, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. How long does it take you to do a piece? Depends on the piece. Um, some pieces I've whipped up in 20 minutes. Like this one, it's like a 30 minute piece, maybe. Um, that one was just honestly luck because my pieces are, I throw a bunch of colors on a page and use blend tools to push them around until it makes sense. Yeah. Um, more times than not, it works. But sometimes I'm pushing color around for a really long time because it just won't make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that one was a lucky one because it was like the first time, the first time I just threw the colors on and pushed them around, it it came together really nicely. Okay. Well, uh, do you do you have a favorite uh, color theme? You know, like your blues, warms? Mm, I like to... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I play with pink a lot. Okay. I play with pink a lot, but that's not really my favorite color. I just find that I've been doing a lot of pink. Okay. Okay, good, yeah. good. Uh, later, yeah. you'll see why, why I asked. Yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely cool, man. Uh, do you... Does it does the ideas come to you or like when you're playing around, that's when the ideas come to you? I'll, like the shape, you know? Um I don't know, I just play around or like I do photography too. Oh really? So yeah, so like if I see a picture, I'll see like shapes or whatever, colors, whatever, inspirational in the picture, and I'm like, I think I'm gonna do something like that. <laughs> and oh, that's okay. usually how it goes. Okay, because uh, I, I thought you use uh, blend the colors and then you start, you know, doing your thing. Yeah, it's just like I start with the background, make a cool background and then Smack some colors on there and we'll see what we can make out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely cool, man. I definitely love your color schemes. Thank you. You definitely you. know what to do. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah. Um, uh, what else, man? Uh, f- Wait, can I do a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention, guys. Uh, oh, I, I, I just wanted to be like the background guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's, okay. There's uh, more people back. Like, we were, there's a whole crowd. <laughs> but, what's. Wait, three seconds. What's your most recent motivation? What's your most recent inspiration? Oh, oh thank you. Good question. Can I put this on a... I've been doing a lot of shrooms lately. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been taking a lot of shrooms lately, and I'll wake up the next day, and I'm like, wow. Wow. I think I'm going <laughs> to gonna... do something really good, and every single time I crank out something fire. <laughs> okay, that's cool, yeah. Yeah, I definitely been wanting to try shrooms, but the thing is, I don't have a good connect, or I really don't want to trust that you know, because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, you just gotta just be safe about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the do you do you do it often or just you know once in a while recreationally? Like- I'll microdose here and there because I just want like to get like clarity. I'm not trying to like party or I don't yeah. know, see things too much. <laughs> Go to the other dimension. Yeah, no, I'm not doing like that. <laughs> I just need some chill. Like, so I just take like a little bit and then like, you know, relax, listen to some music and give it a couple hours eventually. I'm like either drawing or inspired to draw something really nice. Okay, that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, dope, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so what do you, well, I mean, uh do you sell what do you sell your your art if you were to sell um i do i i honestly it's more like social media you hit me up in the inbox tell me what you want and i got you how you want it as far as like it's if i can print it on whatever surface on whatever size it's probably creatable and if i can't i do hand paintings i do acrylics i do drawings and you know um also i I also like digital copies of work too so like you know for my customers that may not have the biggest budget but still want to support i got stuff that'll accommodate that i do like phone screen backgrounds um desktop backgrounds you know stuff like that oh that's definitely dope um oh yeah i do do album covers too (laughs) okay that's cool yeah man Uh, that's definitely dope uh and people can and people can reach you at um honestly just at siren creates on both instagram facebook and i think twitter too i don't use twitter as much um but yeah you can hit me up on any of those platforms and it would be spell s-y-r-y-n 
creates. Okay. Yeah. Have to think about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But you know, if uh, you know, uh, I'm an edit, so I'll put everything in there. I, okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure you touch on the base of where you can, you know, where you do your business, so that way I can direct people there in yeah. the description. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Sweet. <laughs> um. So we're about that 15 minutes. It's about that time for that smoke break. Uh. Guys, I have a commercial you guys can check out uh, while, meanwhile, we head to the smoke room. <laughs> Damn, I need some water. up everybody i hope you enjoyed the commercial break uh thank you guys for watching and i also want to thank everybody man i forgot to i always forget to give shout out to the beginning of the video i definitely want to give a shout out to everybody who's been you know sharing subscribing liking the videos on my youtube and my facebook i really appreciate that guys from the bottom of my heart you know that really means a lot to me all i'm really trying to do is just show love to people who I think are talented and, uh, you know, have skills and just have businesses that I think are, you know, awesome and, you know, cool. So appreciate that. And I also appreciate you for coming and staying Thank till you. the smoke break. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm not too, like, YouTube, you know. You, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to, like, feel feel my way on how I do this. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is actually yeah, really, cool. really chill. Yeah. Really chill. Yeah, cool. yeah, this is super cool. It's super cool. Well rolled. I can't roll a joint to save my. Oh life. no, the pre rolls. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I cannot roll a joint to save my life. Yeah. A blunt, sure, but a joint. That boy gonna look like a twig. <laughs> you know, got dared to do a three paper joint, and I was like, "Bet you got enough weed for that? I'm not throwing mine in that." Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really don't have too much weight, guys. I only got like about two joints. Sorry about that. You know? You're good. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally fine. Yeah. <coughs> so, so, uh, Sarah, what am I saying it right? Saya. Saya, Saya. Sia. Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely please correct me because, like I said, I'm not good with names unless you have something, you know, kind of simple like a Chris <coughs> right. or a Jay, you know. Uh, but, um, what yeah? What made you? What made you want to do? You know this. This kind of. Well, I mean, <laughs> I got like this thing with um faces, um and facial expressions and stuff like that. So I like to draw faces in um different moods, and I like for people to like. I don't know. I feel like when people do like see it, they like feel, and I purposely make my faces somewhat androgynous, um definitely racially ambiguous. Oh, you could step into this. <laughs> yeah like uh rac racially ambiguous and stuff because like you know i want my audience to kind of see the faces and relate and kind of like you know so i, I don't know I, so i have like a whole series of faces they, they have different facial expressions different angles different colors and each piece kind of says a lot so this piece was like i was told we're doing that 815 art show so i was like okay all right, I'm just going to print a few of my face, uh, a few out of my face series, draw a new one, and make it 815 theme. So, yeah, definitely badass. I love yeah. the coach game. Uh, I, love, I, love you did, I love how you did the face with the tattoos. Thanks. Definitely. Thanks. And I like the eyes because one of them reminded me of uh, what's that one? Pain. You know his eyes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, Renegade. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Renegade. I was going to say something else. <laughs> yeah, definitely dope, man. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite pieces, guys. <coughs> yeah, definitely don't. Yeah, don't be a, don't be a shy. I know where we talked about it at the Bubble Hive, guys. This is where she, she I met her at the Bubble Hive. My 
my second art show with Chris Jeebus. Shout out Chris Jeebus. You know, uh, I met her. Very talented. And then when you told me about how you do it on your know, computer, I was definitely impressed because, you know, that's something I can't do. So, but, um, yeah, man. Uh, thank you. Um, that looks so cool with the, in the camera. <laughs> like, waiting for the three second pause. That looks so cool from just the hand coming out. Like, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I, I think it's stuck, but um, yeah, just very talented, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, and I was going to say, yeah, definitely don't be shy because I know we talked about it at the Bubble Hive that, you know, we are shy people and stuff. But um, I'm awkward. Like, yeah, yeah, awkward, shy, you know. Yeah, I'm so awkward. <laughs> I feel like I'll hit that uh, shy state so hard that it's awkward, you know. Yeah. You know? So, but um, yeah, you know, don't don't be afraid to you know, ask me something because, you know, there'll be times where I'll, I'll run out of questions or, you know, uh, I just forget how to ask a question or something. Cause, Cause, the thing is, I want this to be organic. So you know, yeah. I really don't want to write too much down because I want some of it to be out of nowhere. I just want that to makes have sense. something. Yeah, you know. Well, what made you start your art? Cause what you do, I cannot do. Yeah, I mean, I, like especially with your lettering. Like, if I do that digitally, I'm going to have a lot of help okay. by the system if but, I do it. But if you did, man, you know, like practice on it. I bet you could do some badass shit. Cause there's some things. I can do that. People can do on graphic design. Well, actually, there's a lot you can do on graphic design that Man. an artist can't do because yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, you it's know, a whole lot. but uh, well, thank you. First off, thank you. You know, uh, I got a lot of my skills and techniques from you know my cousin Richard. Shout out my cousin Richard and his friends. You know, because they're some some of his friends are you know artists as well. So, I, you know, I grab a lot of, you know, skills from, you know, different people throughout the years. But my cousin's my big, big example because, you know, um, he's my cousin. I used to be around him when he used to tattoo. And he's a big letter guy. So I would, you know, I would try to do his letters, but in a way I can't. And also I, I did my own. But, uh, yeah, I just use, like, different tools, you know, mm -hmm. like markers. I'll, I'll show you, too, in, at the end. So that way, uh, you know, you could pick, buy one or something, you know, and That's practice. Dope. Yeah. Hope I'm not boring you with the story, but um, no, it's not boring. I'm yeah. really interested, like yeah. about the, like what markers do you use? Like uh, mainly now, now I use a uh, alcohol, alcohol base. Are They're, those um Copic? Yeah, Copic, but those are the most expensive. There's oh. different ones I I have. There's different ones I I have that are a little bit cheaper and work just as good. So That's dope. the thing is, I just don't know their names right now, but I have them over there. I'll, I'll be down to show you. Sick. Yeah, I'm totally going to yeah. check them out. Yeah, That's yeah. something I've always wanted to like experiment with. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because um, those markers do bring out the drawing. I don't know why, dude. Cause they it, really do. Yeah, they don't bleed too hard. Just enough. So. And they're clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because it's drying so bad? No, because it's like, I mean, well, yeah, I think so. Because it's alcohol-based, so it dries <laughs> a lot quicker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, doesn't have time to run. Yeah. Just don't smear. All right. Yeah, but uh, the the alcohol markers I just barely learned like about a year ago. Really good. Honestly, like I thought it was um I thought it was either prints or paintings. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I couldn't I, tell I, the I difference. Didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, well, some of them are paintings because uh I do you my paper method, I paint you know I paint a thick. A thick piece of paper, bristle, you know, bristle paper. Yeah. Yeah, I, I paint on that because that's the thickest that can hold spray paint. Oh, uh, and and then I I you I you know I put a design either space or like a cool paint collage. Yeah. And then with another piece of paper, I make my drawing, cut that out, and I put it on top, and then I laminate it. But you know, lately I've been working on my uh, I've been working on my paint, so I'm doing canvas, mm -hmm. so that way I kind of get because in a way. For me, the the paper method's a little easy, well, hard and easy because you know if I mess up, I can always swap out, you know, swap mm -hmm. out either the, the drawing or the background. Yeah. yeah. But the canvas, I can't. You know, if I fuck up, I have to do it all yeah. over again. That makes sense. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I feel that. Ooh. Yeah, but thank you guys, man. But yeah, because I've been on and off, man. I shit you not, you know. I was on. I wasn't always straight through. You know, I was on it. Right. drawing and shit you know because uh either work or some personal stuff that i'm kind of embarrassed that <laughs> i did you know yeah that i let take my time 
mm-hmm. from your arms, but that's okay. Like yeah. it's it happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, what have, has that ever happened to oh, you? Yeah, like where you stop because you're like, oh, I gotta do yeah. Well, I actually struggle with a lot of mental illnesses, and because of that, I will have my moments where I go long periods of time without drawing so i try to compensate by like i mean taking shrooms to open my mind up a little bit you know or like you know when i do sit down and do art crank out two pieces figure out what i can do to hone my skills so i can draw faster and faster and faster so i try actually to work make my work as fast as possible okay that's cool yeah man uh have have you taken antidepressants i used to yeah yeah same here i used to too yeah but um Dude, I didn't like it. <laughs> dude, dude, they put you to sleep. I, I don't know how people yo, can describe that to somebody, it's bro. It's like, it's like I'm not sad. I'm not happy either. I'm just here, and I'm just existing, and personality is just gone, and my creativity is just gone, and I'm just here. And it's like bare minimum level me is what it feels like. <laughs> did wait? Did you did you think of this through throughout, or like do you did you think of that like you know wow on something like shrooms um no i was going through i I was trying to take my medication i was giving it a chance because i had gotten like freshly diagnosed with some things so i just really wanted to try and like give every route a chance before i wrote things off so i was on my medication for like a year and you know i'd I'd, uh talk to my psychiatrist and we changed the medication or we changed the dose or whatever and you know at the end of it i was like this isn't this isn't for me, but I didn't know what was. Yeah. Um, in my life, in my life, I was in like not the best position, and one um once I was able to like remove myself from that environment, <coughs> um, removing myself like off the medication as well. Like I don't know, I discovered that I really just needed a change in environment. And, I hope in, 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 in therapy. <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm not bringing up too much personal stuff because you know no, I, it's totally fine. I'm totally open about myself. Yeah, 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 you know, like yeah. Th- that's something I'm not really open with. You know, like because I used to be depressed, man, and I used to take antidepressants, but man, I didn't like them because like I, they used to put they put you straight to sleep or take the energy right out of you, dude. Yeah, I feel like I'm just not a person on them. And I thought that was just how I felt. No, nah. like, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, I feel like just not real if that makes any sense yeah well yeah man and um yeah i switched over to weed man because you know that really felt like a better substitute smoke weed yeah yeah because that's responsibility yeah responsibly yeah 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 (laughs) yeah i smoke weed and i um take shrooms every once in a while i don't like i don't really want to do it consistently but like this week i did it two days in a row and i'm like give myself a break but it totally regulates my emotions and helps me like think yeah. clearly. Yeah, Washington legalized it because it helps with certain illnesses. I yeah, I have PTSD. I also have uh, what borderline personality disorder and like like anxiety and depression and stuff. You know, all the stuff that would trickle down those. Those are the two big ones. That, you know, everything kind of falls in. But uh, doing shrooms like and that's why makes I, it go away like I, it's it makes it go away if i'm panicking smoking weed it just makes it go away immediately. <laughs> almost as soon as i exhale it's actually great. so yeah with the good stuff man you'd be like oh wow <laughs> yeah yeah i don't even take a lot of shrimps i take like just a small amount chill out it makes me sleep real nice i sleep so good yeah because yeah like i said man i've been meaning to try some shrooms. just you know i'm kind of worried yeah, no, you don't. Don't ever take it until you're ready. Yeah. If you feel like taking it, take it. Like I don't, I don't really care to take it with people. It's I more of an experiment or ceremonial. Yeah. Yeah. Don't treat it like a party drug. It's, just, it's like you're gonna take a little bit and you just yeah. gotta feel it out and see what it does for your body, and it it'll be a good time if you make it so. Yeah. I just yeah. I don't even remember what I was watching the other night. I think I was watching documents on YouTube documentaries. YouTube, <laughs> and you know, just chilling and like writing down. I I have on my laptop like lists of uh, art ideas, you know, because I know I'll go through my spats of depression where I just won't be inspired, but maybe I might need to create something. So I have lists of my inspired ideas where I was in like, you know, I I might have been like 
I don't know, an hour away from going to work, so I can't sit down and make a project right now, but I can just make a note and write my idea right here so I don't lose it. Next time I feel that tingle of inspiration, I got it right there. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, when I, an idea comes to me, either I do it there or then, or, and if, I, if I'm not near my studio, I forget. Yeah, that's why I have my notes. Yeah, yeah. And so sitting on shrooms, watching stuff, making my notes, like, really nice. And then the next day I come to it, and my art turns out, like, so good. Like, yeah. that Itachi piece that I did yesterday, I was, like, really proud of how it turned out. Yeah, like, really good, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I typically don't do good, um, like, uh, well, not, not that I don't do good anime characters, but it's just not my thing that I draw all the time. Okay. So, even though I like anime. Yeah, um, same here. So, like, proportions and stuff like that are hard, so, you know, but it just, I had that tangle of inspiration and turned out really good. Yeah, <laughs> well, like, when you're ever, like, an emotional, like, in an in your emotions or emotional and you draw, do you feel like that helps? It depends on what I'm feeling. Like, if I'm, like, mad, maybe <coughs> not. But I'm not often mad. <coughs> if I'm really, really sad, I don't think that's... I, I don't like to draw. I honestly like to draw when I'm, like, calm or happy and or maybe a little stressed because it's like uh, drawing is stress-relieving a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. I feel like I draw better when I'm happy oh okay, okay. yeah yeah because there's times where some of my drawings depending what it is you know like is influenced by my emotions you know mm-hmm. like when people would i mean i really don't take commissions now because eh, it could be a lot sometimes but um mm-hmm. when i did people would ask me to draw their animals pets <laughs> and don't get me wrong i love animals and stuff but uh i don't know why there's the ones that passed away, obviously, I got really emotional because, you know, I know how that felt. You know, yeah. I, one of my very, very good dogs, you know, my the first boy dog I had um passed away, dude, and that shit still hurts me till this yeah. day, bro. Every time I mention his name, it just makes me cry. And so when I people ask me to draw, you know, their animals or animals that passed away, I love ones, man. I think about him, you know, and like, dude. Yeah. And then that gives me emotions, like heavy, and you know, that makes me want to do bet good on that drawing, so that person can feel yeah. the emotions, I, you know. But speaking of that, I actually am starting a series, or well, working on a series of like, um, people whose like loved ones passed away, yeah. or rather loved ones, or like maybe. Like, I'm I'm kind of experimenting with it because I don't know how well I'm not going to like do something for the first time and try to charge somebody for it right now. Yeah. But like, I'm working on like maybe a portrait of like a past loved one holding like their kid that might not have gotten to meet them or you know something like that. Yeah. And so I I kind of have a situation like that going on in my family. So I mean. They don't know I'm working on it, but they do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this won't be released till like Monday, so you're good. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, okay. Uh, I don't care if they know. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. You know, people definitely love when you do that. You know, like a piece, a, me- a memorial piece or a portrait, or you know. Yeah, it's really emotional too. Yeah. Like, so I have like a couple people in my personal life that have passed away that I'm working on right now. Yeah, yeah. Me, I worked on a couple, but like I said, you know, when it's becomes when it comes through a loved one, man, like it's hard. Yeah, you know, I'll definitely tear, tear, cry. What? Well, when I say cry, you know, tearing is the same thing. You know, if I tear, I cry. You know. I am emotional. Yeah, <laughs> you know? So it takes a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I have uncles that passed away as well, you know, so when a person asks me to draw, a, like, a human, that one hits me hard, too. Yeah, I like portraits. Yeah, and, it, and then it's also stre- stressful. Yeah, yeah. I like doing portraits. I get yeah. a lot of, that's my commissions lately, is portraits. Actually. Yeah, yeah. How, <laughs> how much do you charge for a portrait and this stuff? Um, it depends, like, how big they want. Like the portrait, is it like just a singular portrait, a couple, your entire family? Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know, it depends. Like, I usually just sit down with it's. It's like a person by person basis. Um, I know that like 
If somebody wanted, like, a digital copy of just a portrait of themselves, I would charge $15 for that. Oh, that would cool. be the cheapest. Um, otherwise, no, I wouldn't charge $15 for that, actually, a digital copy. I'm thinking prints in my head. But if they wanted a digital copy, I'd probably charge, like, 10 it depends. Oh. It honestly depends on what they want. Everyone's like, so everyone's different. Cause like some people will be like, yeah, I want, you know, just a selfie of myself and yeah, play with these colors or whatever. And I'm like, okay. And then other people will want like the entire city of Chicago with them right there. And then, you know, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's really hard to say. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. I definitely just want to promote. You know, like if you have a regular, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like hit me up with your idea and I'll hit you up with some quotes and I'll like work with you in your budget the best I can, you know. Yeah, I do- yeah, I'll definitely hit you up because I need some digital stuff, man. For yeah. real. Cause uh I-, I know once you put it digitally digital, the like a drawing or something, you know, you could basically make anything or put it on anything. Yeah. If you send send it to the person. Yeah. Like a file. Yeah, that's pretty much what I plan on doing. Yeah, yeah, guys, definitely hit her up, man, yeah. for some work, man. Hit me up. Yeah. Um, I mean, on the low low, I do like not safe for work artwork on the low low, but that's case by case basis. I have it on like my Instagram's kind of like the main platform. You just hit me in the inbox for that. Don't be weird about it. Yeah. No weird don't else. be weird about it. All right. We're watching. I don't shame you, but don't be weird about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah. Uh, she definitely got to know the piece, guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely check it out, guys. <laughs> oh, this one's tight here. I just... Boom. Look at that shine. Oh, shit. Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> do you also do the frames, or do you just give the prints? Um, okay, so, like, sometimes I will go and make my frame. These frames are not made. Okay. I purchased these. Um, but sometimes I'll go and, like, get, a, a, like, an old frame that I have, or, like, somebody's donated old frame. Um, and like paint it up or do it up to like make it look cool with the piece, you know, or maybe even extend the piece onto the frame a little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, I, um, you know, I, uh, I think that's the only way that I've really gone about framing. I don't really like to do, no, I'm actually about to do shadow boxing. Shadow boxing? Yeah, somebody just told me how to like actually like make one from scratch. So I could just buy my own wood and make so many shadow boxes. Like Oh shadow boxes. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, meant the... boxing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> a red hand. no. I thought that was like a, a slang for like a type of thing you do on the computer thing. No, it's the the those frames. The, oh, okay. Those like the ones that are like deep. They're like little boxes, but they're frames. And the glass is over it, and then there's like stuff in the inside. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a shadow box. Oh. Yeah. Like with what? Like some of these or just? Yeah. Like I put my prints in there, or any random stuff that I can make. Honestly. Well, what would you put in the box? Um, I don't know. It depends on the piece. It depends mm-hmm. on the piece. Like, uh, I was thinking of something cool. Like, um, my most recent piece, the Itachi piece. Yeah. I was like looking at it and I'm like, how would I go about printing this in particular that would like actually look cool? Because I don't think it would look cool. It's just a framed, yeah. you know? And I thought of uh, a shadow box. I'd probably black it all out and um, put some leaves or like some know, feathers. Get some little red LEDs in the right Ooh. place and make it look like his eye is just glowing. Red and glowing. Yeah. Like maybe something like. Um, you know, like a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a red moon in the background, like in the oh. typical, maybe, uh, maybe I can like throw, maybe I can just like throw the little Uchiha, little, <laughs> the Uchiha clan dead in the background real quick. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, like I could have fun with it, but I was thinking of something where I black it out completely, like matte black, as black as I can possibly get it, and then 
have some sort of LED set up with his involving his eyes and lights. You know, they'd have to see the piece. No, 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 <laughs> I no. no I can, yeah, yeah. But it sounds weird. Me no, it doesn't sound know. weird. No, no, no. Like, no, you, no. Can get those little, like you can get tiny little LED strips. Well, obviously, people don't know what the shadow box is like, but it, you know, it's kind of like a frame box. You know, it's kind of like what a three dimensional frame, you can yeah. say. And I, I, I know what you're saying. I think it's yeah. pretty fucking cool. And if you put <laughs> LEDs in the right spot of a of a print or a drawing or what you know, mm -hmm. that definitely be dope. That's yeah, definitely dope. Really if it's something that she had, definitely do the eye thing and maybe put like some black feathers or something, you know? Yeah. Some colored pearl. Yeah, yeah. Well, depending on how you do it. I could put like actual feathers in there yeah. too. Get it really 3D about it. Yeah, that would <laughs> be dope. Yeah, I definitely get the idea. That would definitely yeah, dope. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, something like that's like what I would do with it. Um, But as far as framing, I think that's all I really mess with. Um, I just try to get as creative and have fun with it as possible. If people like have ideas or anything like that or and shoot me suggestions if it's like possible yeah i'll there's... figure it out <laughs> you know yeah no some people will shoot you some big ideas but it's kind of like damn i don't even got the funds for that yeah. <laughs> you know like yeah. but you know definitely it's a good idea when when I, the money is there for it but yeah like me i want to do my own merchandise but uh, man, it could get expensive. Yeah, it does. It is so expensive. Yeah. It's so expensive. Yeah. Buy my yeah. art so I can make more art in cooler ways. Because I want to do, like, design backpacks. I want to design, like, sweatpants and, like, hoodies and, like, cool. I can do it up. Like, y'all could be fashionably styling out here. <laughs> For real, yeah. Definitely. Her yeah. Buy my art and I'll do, I'll, I'll provide some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, um, have you ever done a print on a shirt or anything? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I probably honestly, it's not hard. I know it's it's as simple as like finding somebody with a shirt press. You can go as far as like sending in your work to have print, printed on a t shirt, and they'll send it back. You know. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I I have a difficult time because you know, like I said, my most of my drawings are like like uh, physical. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's better when it's digital because it's more, everything's corrected in a way. So yeah. it's printable. Yeah. 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 The corrections. Great. Like, I, I hate, like, I have to, like, be so particular with the erases that I use when I'm drawing physically on something. And I have to, like, be so soft about it, too, because it's like, okay, you know, if I draw too hard with the pencil, the indent's going to be there. No matter how much I erase, it's just going to be there. So I have to be gentle. And then if I have a shitty eraser, it's just going to put like a black smudge there and I'll like, the paper. yeah. And now what am I going to do? <laughs> it's not, now I have to backpedal so much before I, yeah. And that's the thing I, I can just click. Yeah. Delete or, yeah. Re or redo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I had to do mine the old fashioned way. Mm. <laughs> I like the old fashioned way still. That's like what I do for fun. I'm actually, I actually have, um, I just picked up a couple canvases, and so I was, like, going to paint something. I don't know what yet, but, Ooh. yeah, I was thinking something real nice. Thinking about maybe pour painting, trying that. I've never really done it before, but I watched some videos on Facebook of pour painting, and I'm like, oh. Oh, the, the liquid? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do, I watch it all the time. I'm like, oh, that looks like. It does it's look It's not cool. hard. It's so beautiful. I love color theory. <laughs> So I can I know I could do something really nice with this. I yeah. probably do something fun digitally with it too. Yeah, me. Yeah, I don't think I got space for that though, cause that's a mess. It looks like a mess. Yeah, honestly, I have a tarp. Ooh. I just do it over a tarp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what size are you working with? There's they're square shapes, so I know mm. that they're they might be like ten by ten. Maybe. Like a medium size. Yeah, yeah. I have three of them. Yeah, me. Uh, I got like the medium and small. I don't. I don't got too many big canvases. Man, that's a lot. Yeah, they're so expensive. Yeah. I mean, they they have deals at Michaels actually, really nice deals yeah. where you can get like three packs of big canvases for like 
15 bucks, which isn't too bad. Yeah. Hobby Lobby too, but the thing is, for their medium to small, their their huge ones are expensive. Yeah. Really expensive. Hobby Lobby. Okay. I totally checked them out. You you never been to Hobby Lobby? What? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Michael's is a good store, but the thing is, I feel like they're way more expensive. Obviously, I might be wrong. You know, some of Hobby Lobby and Michael's, they do have their, some things are cheaper, more pricey at, other, at each other. But yeah, to me, Hobby Lobby, I feel like has better deals and has way more stuff. I like to go on Blick.com. Oh, Blick? Was that, that's real? Yeah. Because I came across it, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Yes. It's like, oh, so like really good price, really good supplies. I no, no. I see that. That's why I didn't believe yeah. it because the, the prices, I was like, nah, this is fake. No, it's real. It's real. <laughs> oh I've gotten God. a lot ordered from there. They're great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I feel like if you could get it online, definitely stick with online because mm-hmm. you, you can't beat online. No, you really can't. The thing is, once you get it, you're stuck with it unless it has a return, but then you're kind of like, oh, I need the supplies now. Yeah, that part sucks. Yeah. But, I mean, they. I try to, because it's so cheap, and typically they like, like, what did I order one day? I ordered um just some watercolors, and I thought it was just, like, going to be one simple thing of watercolors. And they came with, like, this, like, two-pack with way more colors than I thought both of them were going to have. And, like, I was like, ah. Uh, uh. I'm so surprised that they sent me so much, and I think I paid like so little for it for a good brand of watercolors. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, it's great. Yeah, I I really didn't think it was real blink or yeah, blink. Yeah, blink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I uh, I was just looking for some. I don't know, I forgot what I oh uh, like glow spray paint. Mm-hmm. And I came across that. I was like, man, these deals look too good to be true. Some of them, some of them. Yeah, no, they're real. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. real. They're out here. Yeah, definitely gotta check that out now. Yeah. Definitely shout out. <laughs> shout out to Blick. <laughs> Y'all be helping us. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. Yeah. Yeah, sorry if I slowed down. Once once we hit the smoke break, that's when I'm chill and like I get to get like like uh lightheaded and forget the questions. Yeah, I'd be like that too, because I'm <laughs> I'm I'm high. <laughs> yeah that's okay i'm mad at it <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you man yeah i just want to say thank you again for coming man. yeah thanks for having me i i know i'm awkward y'all <laughs> i know i'm awkward i just i'm an awkward person i just um wanted to like get my art out there because yeah and I, and I appreciate you yeah. for doing that because you know i don't know how i sounded at first when i was like you know come on you know promote your art you know yeah, no, you're, I mean, like, when you said it, I was like, opportunity. It's yeah. Opportunity. Okay. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> don't don't get me wrong, it's not going to blow up, but, you know, eventually, over time, you know, it's always going to be there, you know? Yeah. Mean? Well, it's just, like, you know, exposure. I yeah, mean, it's, yeah. It's more than sitting in my room and posting on Facebook. <laughs> you know? Which you should keep doing, so that way people can check it out. Okay, well, yeah, 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 yeah. you're right, you're right. <laughs> for sure. But, yeah, but uh, I'm glad you came on here so you can yeah. yeah, thank you. I'll, my TikTok's on one of them things. Check that out too. I do videos of my art. It's just, it's art TikTok. <laughs> I, I don't mess with TikTok, but definitely check it out. Yeah, I know that's what all the young whippersnappers. No, I, I, so I, I, got, I got them too. I figured it out. No, <laughs> I don't even fuck with uh, Snapchat as much anymore. I only stick to YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Only three of them. Those are my favorite I'm ones. But Instagram for me, because that's where I have most of my artwork I ever done and recorded. Yeah, because there's times yeah. where I took pictures and never uploaded them. I still do that now, and mm-hmm. I can be forgetting. Yeah. Man. Shout out to Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah uh, hopefully you're comfortable, so when, you know, you do more later or something you know mm. hopefully you know you come back and promote more yeah yeah well, i definitely plan to um i'm trying to like kind of like just get whole series of works out and stuff like that um and hop into as many art shows as possible like that's really what i'm trying to do yeah same here man yeah. um 
Yeah, I got some art shows. Well, not really art shows, but uh, I was going to showcase some art for Hispanic Month next month. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I definitely do be nervous, man, because like, I'd be like, man, what should I draw? Usually, that's the big thing for me. It's like, I don't know what the hell to draw sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I get nervous. I'm like... I don't know what to draw, and when I do draw something, I'm like, oh, shit, I hope somebody likes it. I hope it's good enough. Like, yeah. I know I'm weird and different and might not like the same things as most people, so I just, like, hope they like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here, man. Uh, I always wish, I always hope that somebody likes it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Water break. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, you you want a water or something, bro? I got a. Uh, okay, a Gatorade. Oh, I got a water. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, sorry if we didn't <sighs> talk too much or not enough about your your art or you know. Oh no, 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 it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, if we if you think we missed something, definitely you know. Let us know, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to talk to you about. <laughs> I draw it. I'll draw just about anything within reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope I'm not asking you too many questions. No, 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 no. It's really fine. I just, I don't, I don't know what else to say about my own art. So if you have any questions, I will answer anything at all. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I'm um, really open. Yeah, yeah. And thank you. Thank you for that, man. I, I really appreciate it. I definitely know how it feels because I went on one of my friend's, uh, you know, podcast. Shout out uh, Zay the Stoner. Uh, I went on him <laughs> to talk about myself, bro. And dude, I, I, we're, you know, we're smoking. I completely forgot what we're talking about. You know, I feel like I was being totally weird, you know, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. awkward. And I didn't know how I was sounding. Yeah. I felt like I sounded dumb, you know, and I felt That's bad. You know? And I told him too, like, whenever he wants to come back and redo it, you know, or hit me up, you know, definitely shout out Zayda Stoner. Check him out on YouTube and Instagram, guys. Some good content. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. Um... Wait, I know we're also talking at the Bubble Hive the second time about video games. Yes. I love video games. Yes, me too. <laughs> I definitely love the video game talk. So like what kind of what kind of games do you get into? Well, I, uh, like like I said like kind of like Fallout so what RPGs, role playing yeah. and then shooters, story stories, The Last of Us. Oh. Yeah, I yeah, so Detroit game fire um i'm a huge nintendo junkie yeah, yeah like super smash bros zelda i never got the zelda i never got the zelda because i got the switch but um mainly i got it for pokemon and um i play pokemon too y'all and, can hit me up on my thing for my nice. switch code and i'll play pokemon with y'all yeah, definitely. <laughs> she looking for the smoke, guys. I do. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Wait. Come, I come with the smoke. <laughs> who, who who do you pick at the beginning? Uh. Okay. So like, don't judge me, but like, I have to like. Ever since I was a kid, I always like named every Pokemon that I've gotten. Yeah, so yeah. it's very rare that I actually know the names of the Pokemon. But I use the water type. The water type. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. And name is, Nugget. And name Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like a beast or something. He's like crazy. Like, oh, well, he yeah. he looks like a lizard. Him named Nugget. Okay. And, but they won't know who Nugget is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I definitely know all the water types from each game. Okay. Well, 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 kind of like I I don't know the newest ones. The oh, I play I, Pikachu. Yeah. I'm that, playing Sword and Shield. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they got on that one. Yeah, because I know it's like super what new gen. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. But me, it was always fire or, or the. I'm not fire or the sure fucking I the leaf because I was always a pothead. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, and then but my, I, I would have them for a while, but 
my favorite Pokemon I would always try to look for when he came out was A.A. Ron. A A Ron. Yeah, the the man. steel type. Yeah, the steel type. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I loved his final form. He was like oh, a, yeah. like a dinosaur or something. Yeah, honestly, I really liked that Pokemon too. Yeah, but yeah, um, I I played the um, water type. <laughs> the water type. Oh wait, no wait, is it the same one? Yeah, yeah I'll, the same one. Yeah, I'll still go with fire. I don't know. Yeah, this is just the second time they did the bunny. Yeah, the fire type's dope. I have the fire type, too. I've been playing for a long time, and I'm trying to complete the Pokédex, so I have all three of them, but Ooh. I start with my fire, or my water type. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, yeah. I, I choose fire type in every other game, but this one, that water type. He got hands. Ooh, he got yeah, hands. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I definitely got addicted to the Pokémon P- uh, Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I got... um. Like a little bit of a collection of Pichus, Pikachus, and Raichus. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I just... Yeah. yeah, man, I really need to start drawing some Pokemon because there's some where I like want to put my own style into them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely fun to draw. Yeah, you know, I did like one Pokemon piece. I hand painted it at an art show uh, maybe three years ago with Chris Jeebus. Ooh. Shout out Chris Jeebus. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, I sold like a really nice one. It was um done with colored pencil. Um what else? See I'm high and I forgot. It was colored pencil, watercolor, and acrylic, and like I just used a black sharpie to like line it up real nice oh, and okay, it was yeah. dope. It turned out really dope. It sold so fast. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah. It was like immediately as soon as the show started and first person saw it, they were like, my... <laughs> I was yeah. like, hey. Yeah, yeah that, that's definitely a great feeling. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Um, What if somebody wanted a hand-painted pieces? Would you be willing to do something like that? Yeah, reasonably, actually, you know. Yeah. yeah, I actually just got commissioned to do a hand painted piece recently, and I actually have to get started on that. Ooh, that's what's <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely can't wait to see it. Yeah, man, yeah I mean, it's uh, I already have it created digitally, and it's on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, it's titled Succulent. You'll know when you see it. <laughs> yeah, definitely check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're about the fifty-seven minute mark. Um, my usually a good reminder or a, a like alarm is my when she starts crying. That's when she she starts not wanting to be in the cage for like within an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so for coming on. Oops, sorry. I'll try to dry. I made you a coaster. Oh, sick. <laughs> What? Yeah. And you can have this magnet, and I made some. I gave you some stickers like that, and then I'm giving you blank so you can make your own. They're, Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. Um, dude, you're so sick. You're so talented, man. Yeah, the, the other side is it's not painted. Yeah, so you can paint on it. You know, uh, I got some examples on how you could do it, but you know. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah. That is so. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'll show. Yeah, after we finish this, yeah, I'll definitely show you some markers where you can, you know, practice some lettering. Yeah, I'm about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Such talent. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, definitely let us know one one more time where we can reach you and get some some of this awesome art, or where we can um, put in some orders for some commissions. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Siren. Creates spell S Y R Y N. Creates <laughs> definitely check her out, guys, man. And that's what we do from A to Z. You know, try to show as much love as we can when we can to any artist or businesses, business owners, anybody with skills. I appreciate you guys for supporting. Definitely go follow. <laughs> Thank you.